Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic. Hope you're having a great day today. I have been working on the roads, my friends, and uh, we've got this right side here all done with gravel all the way up into this roundabout area, which isn't quite complete yet. There's still a couple of spots here, but we are finally getting a little bit faster transportation coming through here. Okay. Uh, I have let it run a few months in order to accomplish this. It's currently June 16th. 1960 and today we are going to get power hooked up so that we can hopefully see the oil system right here start getting pumped into this tank so that we can start delivering some tank some uh oil to the border another thing i'd like to get started on today is the railroad oh yeah we got to get the railroad in here at least getting it into about here i think is going to be a good idea i would like to get um, you know, fabric and clothes, clothes and stuff started to get made again um, because the clothing industry is still a good starting industry. It's still good, but we have waste to deal with, right? We're going to start getting um, mixed waste from this as well as some hazardous waste from this. And so it's not without its drawbacks. Um, and obviously there's pollution that are going to happen from these two things as well. So uh, we're going to take a look and talk about some of those things today. But I would like to at least lay out where the rail is going to go. And then I want to transition. Once we get the, the gravel road done all the way to here. Uh, I'd like to transition away from these temporary con construction offices. And into a more permanent solution. So I think probably the best place for a train to come in here is probably going to be right next to this road. And I'm going to leave a little bit of space. Well, at least I thought I was going to. I'm not sure why it won't let me cross there. Maybe it's got something to do with there being two roads. Probably because there's two roads. It won't let me go across there with two roads. So, uh, thankfully, we have uh, not a whole lot done with these two roads. So, I'm going to just kind of bring them back like this. And uh, I would like to, let's maybe turn, uh, the grid is, we're kind of off grid at the moment. And I, I, I do sort of want to stay there with this. So we're going to kind of stay off the grid here really quick. So uh, I'm going to bring this to about here. Let's give it a little bit more space. How about right about here? We're going to say that there's a train track that runs through here. We're going to leave space for two at least. Uh, train tracks to run through here. And then uh, I'd really like to see if this thing allows me to... Yeah, there we go. I wanted to let this road go across the train tracks. Okay. So with these tracks in, this is kind of where I'd like the train tracks or the train to come through. And this is going to get us into industry areas where we can, you know, pick up lots of supplies, drop supplies off. We're going to have storages, all sorts of stuff. And it's going to be kind of over here, which is closer to the people that doing it way over here because again we don't really have civilization over here at least not in the plans uh so to get the rail to get here um and i've run uh electrical cables and stuff through here too uh, i would like you to show you i'd like to show you that as you guys saw we don't have the ability to get 18 megawatt cables here so we're doing 15s all the way to that border and uh, i'm gonna go ahead and just let that go um we have some resources already delivered to this transformer and a lot of resources are still yet to come but are starting to be delivered to this high voltage switch as well um well while we have the railroad here and planned i think i'd like to maybe take a beat and head up here to look at this instead so um we have these things i've kind of set them back a little bit but i don't think i set them back quite far enough so that might be a problem we'll take a look at it uh yeah, right away I can tell this rail here isn't going to happen. But we're definitely going to get this rail uh, going forward. And you know what? There actually might be a grid we can follow here. Yes, we'll go a grid there. And right alongside that, we're going to have this one go too. And I think eventually we'll have the, uh, the third one will follow suit too. You, you, the idea being that multiple trains can get in here at once. They don't have to wait for each other. And the only way to really guarantee that is to have three big tracks like this with some crossings and stuff to keep them, uh, kind of keep them uh, separated, but also allow them the flexibility to go wherever they want. So I'm going to have this curve about there, I think. This one can curve out a little bit like so. Cross this road. 
and eventually we'll have a third track that can also go in and do that okay so what we'll do is we're gonna have this crossing that i just mentioned and this crossing is gonna be basically right here now it doesn't have to be super fancy and it doesn't have to be in the same spot even so we can put a crossing like here for example and then there uh this gets a little bit complicated if you're doing it like that so what i'm gonna do with this is just to kind of basically bring it out like this so if the trains want to oh i can't use the same one yeah that makes sense uh, let's bring that back then and of course these are just plans so we are not really screwing anything up here going about like that and you know i think maybe we go straight to the high speed rail we could go straight to the high speed rail here on this side instead of making the wooden tracks um it's a little more expensive but if, if we only build a single track which is what i'm planning on doing initially is just building a single one of these tracks i think bringing in the high speed rail here would be an okay idea so why don't i go ahead and mark this one to be uh i'll mark this one to be the high speed rail these ones are going to be the wooden ones for now we'll have that marked that way uh and then it'll it'll change as we go and then uh from this side we're going to go up like this and then up like this we get a little bit of a cross here uh that's going to allow us to make this a completed junction and i i don't actually know if you're able to do like a total crossing like this i, I don't think so so in other words if you wanted to get to this side you, you'd come from this side and you'd just go that way right and then the other two tracks are kind of um you know a mystery at this point um however we probably could get away with not even having this one but i think i'm going to leave it anyway just because we'll probably have a train that comes from this side potentially too although there really is no reason to have a train go from this one to this one that that's that's actually impossible we don't need that so i'm gonna actually get gonna get rid of that here and because i'm getting rid of that i can now get rid of this and this looks this looks better i think this will work out just fine all right so we'll have this and uh you know you can go to each one whichever one you want to go to okay so if that's the case then uh we got a high speed rail is on this one and we're gonna bring this kind of I think around about like this or so and then i'm gonna have it curve out from here now there's gonna be other there's other things we can do here for example train distribution plot or train distribution networks and things like that uh there's stuff like that to consider too so this is roughly just a design this is just a kind of design a, a placeholder in the design i suppose it's just something that we're taking a look at right now uh just to get an idea for it because we'll probably have like train yard kind of things happening over here maybe but I'm, I'm also looking for the bulk of all my storage and stuff needs to be over in here uh speaking of that this is where we're going to be uh storing gravel and storing all you know we're going to have the coal coming up and we have coal coming from here and it's going to come all the way down the mountain and eventually end up in this area for processing so this is going to be a place where people will be so as such we need to make sure that we have basic services we need to have water we need to have uh sewage we need to have uh heat all that stuff needs to be considered but now we need to consider waste so once we start placing these buildings and figuring out where that is we're then going to take a look at what our waste waste demands are and we'll go from there um and it does not pause this entire time but i was waiting for is this i wanted to see these road vehicles kind of just doing nothing that that gives me an idea that we're ready to uh expand into new things because at the moment we, we should be delivering stuff for this piping network and everything but we're just not quite there the steel's been delivered but that's about it so right after this rail i'd like to take a look at transitioning our construction offices into a different a different arrangement a more permanent arrangement so I'm going to come over here and I have decided that for the ease of management, I think I'm going to take and have two of the 24 offices for the ease of management, but I'm going to start with one single 24 office. Okay. So I think, I think that's how we're going to play it. So, uh, first thing that I'm going to do is we're going to rotate this and I'm not going to go grid because we're already slanted. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, we're already pretty slanted here on that. 
So we're not going to bother with grid. But we're going to leave a little bit of space. I'm going to try to leave a little bit more space now. Because there's times where it's just... Uh, you know. Although, this, this building here, we don't need to leave that much space. Because it actually looks pretty cool when you don't leave spaces. So if I was to, say, flip it around, we can get it to where the buildings are right up next to each other. Which can tend... It does tend to look better this way. So right up next to each other. And it's going to look like it's, you know, one big construction section, right? One big construction area. Um, we're going to set this as a suspension on construction, but we're going to let this one go here. All right. Now, this is obviously going to be a very high traffic area in the future. We know this. So I'm going to take and uh, remove the roads uh, right about here, I think, is a good idea. We're going to set ourselves up with another roundabout situation right here. And I think at this point, I can probably get rid of the double roads here. I don't believe that'll be necessary. <sighs> There's not really any harm in it, though. So, you know, I don't want to have to tear things down later. So let's... Maybe we'll keep it for now. We do know, though, that this is going to be a fairly busy area. So I'm thinking we probably go about like this. And we're going to have this be around about... <laughs> around about like this. I... Uh, I wonder if that's why. I wonder if that's how that got its name. Somebody saying that, just like that. That was completely unintentional, and it worked really well. Uh, let's go like that, and then out like that, and then uh, we can get rid of this one now. Uh, we'll have this road head straight up this direction. About there should do it, and then we have a lot of extra space for stuff to leave and come out. Now, if they need to go a certain direction, then fine. But we could give them a quick shortcut if they want to and go out that direction. So I feel like I want to give them a shortcut that lets them go this way. And it's not letting me... There it goes. We'll let them have a shortcut uh, for this side. And then uh, as this continues this way, it will eventually get to civilization where everything else is. And so these things will then be able to go out that way. Okay? Um, I think maybe... We don't have to worry about canceling construction because there's no road to it anyway. So the road will just be to this one. So this is going to be our first construction office that we'll be assembling. Uh, and people will just go ahead and get on that as we go. I'm going to try my best not to pause. I'm, I'm sorry if I do. Uh, it's, it's a habit. It's a really... I don't even want to call it a nasty habit because I think it's just something that's natural. People want to focus on something and so they don't want time to pass while they focus on something. I think it's a really natural response, but this game takes forever to do everything. And so it makes sense to let them keep going while we plan things. So I'm going to try my best not to hit that space bar. Okay, so this is our construction offices. It's a lot it's a lot easier to do construction offices and to have a whole lot of construction crew nearby when you uh, do it with big offices instead. So 48 vehicles, just the same number of vehicles uh no that's that's like what 12 less that's 24 less than i had in in the last in the stream series yeah so this is only 20 vehicles or so less than i had in the entire stream series which is kind of nuts uh a lot of people can fit in here a lot of vehicles can fit here uh well okay minus the the construction offices that i had for workers that one is going to be located somewhere else closer to the people so that they can go and get it and bring them to the destination so these are only equipment work equipment and vehicles that need resources that's the only things that are going to be down here uh, because we have uh the gravel is going to be located down here too uh okay so with this done uh we're going to need storages for all of our various things that we're going to need to have let's start with storages for I guess just these open storages will be fine I think I want to make these all connected to a road depot though if I could and I think I want to see there's no changes to road depots okay so I kind of want to have all four storages that I'm going to have be connected to this single part right here the single one here so in order to do that I kind of have to space them out a little bit but we're going to say that we have a big storage I think on this side maybe right here we'll go with one uh, mm. I may not be able to handle this 
because it's just that road the road connection part of it is is annoying i wish there was other other flat storages we don't seem to have new flat storages unfortunately there is a new meat storage though which is awesome so this one holds 75 meat and i'm happy to say there's also one that holds 350 tons of meat and it's got a many many more connections to it as well which i like um we're gonna need a warehouse and all that stuff hooked up to this so i'm thinking we go with a medium maybe we if we if we do this right i think we might be able to get away with it so let's let's try this right here uh and then we can get another one but instead we're gonna do it with the road on uh i think the road has to be on this side for this yeah my I, I don't know if we'll be able to get away with this or not what i'm hoping to do is to get a road this road depot road cargo station right and i wanted to get that connection and then use the third fourth and i guess second third and fourth connection as well but we want to have a we want to have a road connection here and i would also like to have stuff delivered for construction via train it's much uh, much more efficient to do this with a train than it is to do it with all these vehicles and uh, we can maybe decommission some of those uh, it's just more efficient to do it with a train it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to get my way on that specifically though so uh, what I'll do instead is we're going to put in actually we might we might be because there's cargo train there's different cargo train stations yes that I might be able to do this then so look at this one wow wow okay then well now i'm thinking why don't we have this stuff delivered right over here like this could be where everything gets delivered holy moly that is that is an incredible amount of space uh, how much how much is that that doesn't even hold anything that's just connections i feel like that's overkill <laughs> i don't think we need that four four tracks four tracks might be all right but Good lord I'd, I'd like it to be over here though i'm gonna see about maybe getting one of these over here let's pull this back for a second and we can put in one of these big cargo stations i kind of like how that's separated but i don't know the practical utility of having the factory connections between the tracks i, I don't know at what at what point would i ever use that because i can't put factory connections around tr like over top of tracks so I'm not sure why I would do that so um this is I think more along the lines of what I would be using it for I wonder if we have any spare uh any spare excavators that can flatten this out for me let's try this right here I do have spares spare excavators that can make this nice and flat for me let's put this maybe just enough to tap that i'd like it just enough to have that okay and then we bring back that high speed rail into that spot i need to pull this back so let's pull this back to here and we'll have this connect like so And again, I think high speed rail only on the one side <clears throat> for now. And uh, and that way I can upgrade things while still having other trains moving around and with the third track and everything, just for now. Uh, so this gives me train connections into here. Now, the idea is I want all of my construction resources to be sourced by train if possible and to give these guys access to all of them so what i could do here is maybe give extra space but they would have to pick up the resources directly from storage instead of using the cargo instead of using the road depot which i think maybe is okay i think i could maybe i could be okay with that i could be comfortable with that um so if we're gonna do it that way then all we would need is essentially something like this we go one uh one and then we go with another one right next to that can we we can't use grid here right yeah not really I, we could but it's not gonna look good so never mind uh we'll just kind of leave it i don't know if that's lined up or not but 
I'm gonna just do it anyway. Uh, and then this one would be the final one. So this is this is gonna be where our resources are stored for construction. Is right here. So steel, right? Steel, bricks, etc. All through here. Uh, and then we're gonna have another warehouse. Another warehouse. I never figure out where they are. Uh, let's do. So this one's normally 520 crops. I usually look at the crops to see how big, uh, how big they are. But this only has one parking space. That's always been the bane of my existence. So let's use the new building that has more parking spaces. This one appears to have two, although it's a little smaller. This one is almost the same size. It's actually slightly larger. It has more factory connections, and I'm gonna assume that it also has more parking spaces. I'm just gonna make that assumption blindly, okay? Uh, we're gonna put that right here. Yeah, right here. And then this road continues that way. This will be a high traffic road for sure, right? I mean, I think we can, yeah, we can be, we can be very certain that this is gonna be a high traffic road. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do this. All of our construction supplies coming in on this side. It makes sense. So we're going to go in and just kind of draw this road straight out that way, I think. All right, that's that's fine. Um, then we need to have, I, I think, like big leads into here so that vehicles can, are, can be able to queue up. It's kind of what I'm looking for here. Um, but I think a separate road would also be appropriate here. So... If I was to do a separate road right here, then I can get these queues off of the main road anyway. We kind of do something like this. I think that's pretty good. And then this is part of that main road, part of that new road. And then this road comes down and disconnects here. All right, I like that. But for these connections, I'm gonna stick with roundabouts. It's it's served me well in the past. Um, I I dig it. I like the design. I like the look of them. I think it's gonna be okay. And you know what? I'm gonna have several different ones here because there's a lot of different vehicles that are gonna be coming through here. And so I kind of want to give flexibility for the future, right? So we're just gonna expand this just a little bit more, and we'll go about yeah this little one like that is probably fine. Uh, we'll keep this pretty close to the same size about there I think is the same size ish go ahead and pull that back pull that back and then connect that and then connect that all right and then you need to go like that and like that and then like uh, just a little bit further forward like that and like that. this one's a little bit smaller than that one but it's, it's okay all right, get rid of all the extra nodes, and we are good to go, I think, on that. All right, so we've got our new and improved roads. All right, we're going to have a lot of great traffic. We're not going to have traffic jams. Everything's going to be awesome, okay? You can count on me, dude. <laughs> you can count on me. All right, so... All, all of our construction materials are going to come in on this side. And uh, hopefully a lot of this stuff gets delivered by a train. We'll have a single train that's coming in with open cars, box cars, etc. Uh, and just able to bring in the resources all the way into here. Okay. Um, and drop them off over here. Now next, this warehouse is actually big. Like really big. Like we don't need it this big for just construction materials big. So... We'll have a road, uh, we'll have one of these road, where is it? Uh, right here, these road cargo stations. I think we'll have one of these road cargo stations also be off the side, like on this side. And then what we'll do with this is we're gonna have vehicles coming in here to grab other resources that can be delivered here via train. So things like meat, food, clothing, etc., can all be popped into here too. Speaking of clothing, that stuff is gonna also get made in this area as well which like i can have some crops that are just dedicated to that instead so like there's gonna be a big crop operation over here we're gonna have a lot of farming going on over here 
Uh, but I'm not quite ready for that yet. Um, I'd like to say I am, but I'm not. Um, what I think will actually have to happen, this roundabout's done now, which is cool. Uh, I think what will have to happen is we're going to have to have this road go straight out that way. I think we'll have it, since this is running parallel, pretty much. Yeah, so I think what we'll end up doing is a road that comes out about like this. Okay. So it comes out straight from this point. Yep. Uh, a little hard to tell if it's actually straight or not, but I think it is. Yeah, so about there. It doesn't have to be perfect. And it was longer than I thought it was. Okay. Uh, so as we get to here, with this road that's running straight through this way, will, you guessed it, pop in a roundabout area in this area too. Okay. That's the slow, messy, clicky way to do it, but fine. Uh, this is going to be a very busy road as well, I would think, with all the tractors and stuff that are going to be end up coming through here. And we're going to make this kind of a big one, I think, maybe around here. This should be fine. And then... Uh, We'll go out about like that, and then we'll connect that, and then same thing here. This is all about the roundabouts. Okay. We go that way, that way, that way, and that way. Excellent. Not perfectly centered, but that's okay. I don't need it perfectly centered. And now we have the road that's going to take us out towards where our farms and stuff will be. But that's going to be a little bit more in the future. I got to have a really rock solid construction crew uh, before I can get into that stuff. So if I see any, see, I see all these flat cars right here, all these open haul trucks. I don't like that. If they're just sitting here doing nothing, I don't like that. Now, there's another thing I don't like, and that is these guys sitting around doing nothing too because every year that passes by inflation right everything costs us more so i think what i'm going to do here just to kind of help this out is i'm going to make sure that these storages are held at 90 percent instead this means i have the maximum amount of stuff sitting there waiting to be used because all of that stuff is going to be more expensive later so we're going to set this stuff at a higher percentage just to make sure. Uh, yeah, for the, the gravel's fine at 80%, though, because... Well, I don't exactly know how much 80% is, so probably should look at that. Uh, this warehouse is done, as we had before. This little warehouse here doesn't have any power yet, but that's okay. And then uh, it has electronic, electrical components and mechanical components in it. We also have space for something called explosives. Yes, so if I hypothetically wanted to delete this building right now... We could do it with workers. We could do it with equipment and stuff. It just takes a long time to do. Or we could blow it up with explosives, which is way, way faster. And then we have, of course, a lot of mixed waste that we have to sift through. But we could. We very well could. And so explosives is another thing that we could start making. Another new item in the game is liquid fertilizer. We also have uh, compost and stuff too, like more solid fertilizer, if you will. And uh, that's the kind of stuff you can get from finally having livestock farms. So, hey... There's a reason, there's an extra reason now, in my opinion, to have, uh, to have livestock. Uh, okay, so they're starting to get working on all these connection points and stuff. I like it. It's just a big cargo station. It's not even the warehouse. If we want a really big warehouse here, we could do it, but it's a, it'd have to be a really big warehouse. Instead of a really big warehouse, though, I want to take a look and see where is my city going to be? Where are the people going to live? Uh, we know where the industries are vaguely, but as soon as I know about where my city line is, then I know exactly where uh, I can have my, my my fabric and my clothers and all that stuff. So I would like to explore that idea. Um, you have to be fairly certain. We are fairly certain that this track is going to continue from here. Uh, it may not be all of them. It, it's possible that I'll make these like terminate or something, but... Uh, Certainly, this we're going to have some tracks that are going to continue on from this point uh, because we're going to have steel being made over here, bricks, etc. Like all of our industries can be made here and then be taken over to this and dropped off, and so that we have uh, 
you know resources here to to build with so let's just reserve this area here maybe earmark you know this little area right here for trains i'd like to keep this straight if i could let's just kind of go maybe out this far put this in a straight line up to maybe there so we'll say that the train continues straight up to this point and after that we can you know we can move around with it we do have a little bit of oil here we might have to navigate around uh so it's it's possible maybe yeah maybe we'll pull it back right after this road maybe we'll pull it back yeah i think this is probably this is probably all right so we'll pull this back to about there and then uh that'll be at least where we know it's straight to that point okay so for the road i'm gonna say that you go straight again at least this far and then we also have this road coming down and this was sort of where I thought my city line would be, but I'm starting to think I want people living a little bit closer, just a little bit. So I'm thinking maybe my real city line, if you will, will probably be something like right where that hill is. So I'm thinking maybe it'll end right about here instead. You know, I think that's probably okay. We'll just make this artificial line that says this is where the city ends, okay? I think that's, that's okay. Uh, so we'll go ahead once more draw our little roundabout here where this ends and uh i know there's better ways to do it i know like everybody has their own style and stuff i know there's some creators that even went ahead and like they kind of i don't want to say manipulate but they sort of yeah they use sort of uh the rules of the road if you will how road tools work to like have like a multi three-pronged sort of uh junction that allows vehicles to basically go the same speed and they don't slow down um and that's cool but i feel like the roundabout kind of does the similar thing it, it kind of has a similar effect in my opinion and it maybe it doesn't maybe uh we'll look at it later and it'll be like well actually as you can see the, the vehicles definitely slow down when they reach the intersection for the roundabout in which case you know okay fine I don't think it's that big of a deal, but I think we're gonna have the exterior of the city be around here So let's actually pull this back since I've already made the roundabout we will Yeah, I've already made the roundabout. So why don't we uh, redraw this to where it's a bit more centered? So we'll say that we go about let's say here and Right next to it here. Okay, and then this will come out that way and this will come out that way Okay, and then you can go straight all the way over to here and you can go straight all the way over to Ooh, that wasn't very straight was it i mean it's straight relative to the where the yeah well you know what it's fine this is our new line we have a new line okay we don't have i wasn't married to the older the other line anyway okay just because it's in the dirt doesn't mean it's in stone uh -huh, wink wink all right one more roundabout right here and i think that i'm almost done with roundabouts at that point so we're gonna say right about here ish and then we bring it around this is probably good enough hold that back uh and the reason why you pull it back is because that first little line you make is a straight line so it's not curved uh the other reason is because if you don't do that then you're gonna have an impossibility in connecting your line unless it's a really big circle so if you make a really big circle then you know fine you can get away with this but uh not usually so that with that sharp turn there maybe it's not gonna flow quite as well yeah so like this one's not gonna this one's a little bit too small i went too small let's back up um i don't want to delete the whole road though okay yeah sure fine we need to go just a little bit bigger on this otherwise it isn't gonna work so uh, we'll just go about from let's say there i kind of start right where you want the edge right but you, you gotta have to like in your head know how big you want the thing and then just kind of try to size it to where it's in the middle and you can pull it back like that uh now you can't get rid of two points you always have to have two points so it won't let you get rid of these so uh if you have this like say for example i want this to curve more which this one's actually fine but if i wanted this to curve more then what I would do is I would connect this side first. That creates a new connecting point, and then I can get rid of this one. You have to have two points on every road. And so we can go about like that. And then from here, we'll come over 
and go about like see i can't get i can't get that where i want it so i could just remove this now because there's still two points on that road and then i can now put it where i want it right all right and then this one can come over and connect like that i guess is fine and then you are going to come over connect you gotta be kidding me right now but I just do, I didn't do the same size. You know what? I don't care anymore. <laughs> it's not that important, honestly. It really isn't. It's not worth the time to tinker with it. All right. So this gives us. This actually would have worked if I moved this over. You know what? Before I make this gravel and ultimately asphalt in the end, all of these roads that we have currently, maybe with the exception of these, because they'll probably get deleted, but all of these roads that we have currently, they're all going to end up being asphalt, right? All of these double roads are intended to be one-way streets. So when I say highways, that's what I'm talking about, right? All of these will eventually be asphalt. Not yet, but eventually. This is going to be a gravel road, so we'll go ahead and do that. Now that this is all done, um, all these vehicles can now drive on the gravel, and they will choose to gri drive on the gravel uh, as long as they can. Unless, of course, they are one of these trucks. These trucks can reach their top speed on the dirt, and so they will choose the dirt. That means the slower vehicles will stay out of the way of the faster vehicles. So that's happening auto-magically. Beautiful. Um, go ahead and make this gravel as well. And, you know, I can probably get away with, since since all this road is all connected, and it kind of pops out right here and then gets on the gravel from here, since that's happening, this isn't being used. So I can get this to be gravel right now too, which will be good. Uh, and then this is going to be a, a road later too. So we can get this to be gravel and this could be gravel. And let's say this could be gravel too. Okay. All the way up to there. And then we have to make sure they can get in and out of this, which it looks like they can. Uh, yep. They have a crossing right there. So that means that this could be gravel as well. Okay. Pump jack is done. So is that one. This one's got some stuff delivered. And then the pump itself still needs construction offices to build it <laughs> uh, because I'm a doofus and did not connect it with a road first. So let's get it connected to a road. Uh, well, that's going to be difficult. I mean, I could just delete the dirt road later, right? Yeah. I need. I just need it built because it looks like the pipe is done too. So I just need this built. So can I get this to go back? Can you go? Yeah, like this. I just need a way to get back here and I can delete this road later. That's okay. It's just a dirt road. All right. As soon as this is built, we will then be able to successfully pump oil into this tank. But we need power before we can actually do that. So let's talk about that. These cables are it's pretty expensive, right? 34 tons of steel, 20 tons of concrete, etc. Uh, so it's pretty expensive. But assuming we get higher priority on these things, we can get power brought in here. And I think that needs to be shifted into a higher priority. So... Let's just do that really quick and yeah we'll have that be a higher priority because this is this is irrelevant being built until we have power anyway so once we have the power transformer we're gonna want the electric to run this direction to start powering a lot of these things let's see what needs power of course we have this stuff that needs power and all this stuff needs power we know that stuff already but it looks like i can reach pretty much all of this by just going right here which is pretty cool, I gotta admit. I can get this entire section by going like this. So that's what we're gonna do with that. And then over here, we I'd like to get, if I can, all four of these things. If I can get the pump jacks, the pump, and the tank, that'd be good. But it doesn't look like I can get all, all five, sorry. I don't think there's a space. Well, maybe. I don't understand yet. Oh, okay. I do understand. I was trying to figure out why are some of these lines dark yellow and some of them light yellow. Um, and that's pending construction. So it would appear as though going right about so close. I can almost get all of these things. Oh, they're so close. That's a drag. What a bummer. There's got to be a spot here, right? Where I can get all of it. I can even do underground wires. I'm all right with that. 
just too far away. Look at that. Oh, it sucks. I would love to just rebuild this. Put that tank, like, right here instead. But, alas, I will not do that. So, uh, we'll have another one that comes over here, and that will power the tank. So, we'll have some more power stuff happening over here. Uh, if I'm not going to get that, then I might as well buy us this, this direction so that it may potentially be able to hit other industry buildings later. So, uh, we'll have you power basically everything we can over on this side. And let's give it... Maybe face it this direction. This seems this seems accept, acceptable for now. Um, I don't know where the roads are going to be anyway. So we'll say that you're going to be right about right next to the pump jack, probably. Just in case I'm going to put like a warehouse or something here. Yeah, so right about here should be fine. That'll give me that'll give me good stuff. Now this road. Uh, this this uh, cargo area here needs a road that heads this way, so we're gonna head this way with this road, and then I can just hook this up like that. And then this gives us another another reason for this road to keep going, actually. So I can move this road back and have this come straight over like so. Okay, and now this gives me a road that runs pretty much parallel, mm, not quite, but close to parallel uh, to that road. Okay, sounds good. So we might inadvertently create a grid. I mean, you see how this is starting? We have like a grid thing kind of going on here. So I don't know some of you are going to really love that. You're going to say, wow, Charlie's making grids. This is insane. I can't believe it. Hell hath frost has frosted. <laughs> it's all right. It'll change. Don't you worry. There's going to be plenty of zigzags. Plenty of zigzags to come. Okay, I'll find opportunities. I'll find, I'll find reasons to do this. You see, I don't even play with the grid mode on. I don't even like it. I never liked grid mode. Because it's just not organic. They don't, you don't build cities with grid mode, right? You just don't. Nobody does that. <laughs> like, meanwhile, New York City is... New York City is usually the only example people give me about cities that are, like, super gridded. Like, look, it's a perfect grid. New York City, you can have that one, okay? Fine, you win on that one. But uh, near me, where I live, absolutely not. <laughs> there, there's no grid to this at all. Even though, like, the most basic of blocks are, like, you're going to have a curved road. All right, there we go. So I think that is beautiful. And, then, of course, this will continue that direction. And probably end up wrapping around a little bit. And then, you know, it's the outside of the city, right? All these big one-way streets with the higher speed limits. We're trying to get people to move on these roads. And then we have all the inner city roads and stuff that are going to kind of come through here uh, that are around these, okay? The two-way streets or the one-way streets that go up the block and then they come down the other way, the other direction, that kind of stuff. Uh, okay. So I think just for the sake of managing this a little bit easier... Should we just go straight to high speed? It's not electrified, but we should just go straight to this, right? The concrete-based railway. I feel like I probably should just go straight to that. But the thing is, if I get a wooden track, one wooden track, right? And one train that can just move up and down a wooden track while I'm building the other one, at least I get a train moving. And I think that's... I still think that's going to be better. Yeah, we're going to... I'm going to say... I'm going to stick to my guns on that. I still think that's better. So we'll have the concrete railway be, again, this side is going to be a concrete railway, uh, but this side should be uh, the wooden railway. So I should be able to see, whoops, right, like this, should be able to see all of this is wood. Okay, so we're not building high speed rail on this side. All of this is just that really quick, cheap to build wooden railway that gets me where I need to be. Okay. And then we upgrade this side after we have the other side done, right? So let's bring this around and we'll hook it up right like that. I think I'm all right with that. Yeah, I can dig that. That's cool. And then we'll have you come all the way around again. It's kind of hugging your, your friend here all the way to here, okay? So there is a rail and then we'll have to get this connected there afterwards but we'll have a single single signal here 
And that's how everybody will get in where they need to be, okay? Okay. So I think what I want now, because again, it's much cheaper to buy this earlier than it is to buy it later. So I think what I'd like to do is let's get this and this uh, upgraded. We'll get these two uh, upgraded to be high priority. This is where my steel and my bricks are going to be. I'm going to buy a bunch of steel and bricks now, earlier, so that I, I pay a lower price for them at the border. Um, so we'll try to get that to happen. Uh, is there anything else I need to do? Well, yes, actually, we need to connect our um, our substations. We need to also have power. So for this one, I, I don't know exactly what industries we're going to have to power with this one, but I don't think this one's really going to need a lot of power. I'm going to do a one two zero on this. And I'm going to go, I think, from this one straight over like this. Like that. Uh, from this side, I think we'll probably need one more over here, though. Probably, yeah. Yeah. Um, can I fit a big one? In between here. Ooh, maybe. Yes, I can. Right through here. E-A-A. -A, beautiful. Right through there. So you're going to come down. And you'll connect there. Okay? Then this one will send power to this side. Like, eh. Yeah, like that's fine. Because most likely... We're going to have, well, actually, how's the weather? So I'm currently looking northeast. So probably do the fabric and clothes and stuff kind of maybe over in this area right here. And then the city can be kind of over here. So this is the outskirts of the city, right? So the idea is... We're not building any residential buildings on this side of this road. So this gives me a good amount of space. How much space does it give me? Uh, well, from here to here is 200 meters, which is not a whole lot of room. Probably going to build it over here then. Yeah, we're probably going to build it right over here. So if that's the case then what we actually need from this connection is we need you to head this way instead. And you'll end up powering something over here instead with that wire. Uh, which means we need a new wire. And I see, I think maybe we're all right with... Yeah, we'll just, we'll just do this. It's fine. So we're going to set this right on top of you like that. And then right like that. Yeah, just let's just let's just keep this. Yeah, I should be able to do that. It should be right on top of each other this whole time if I just set this like this. Yep, that's how that works. And then up to here. And then we'll take and deviate over there. Okay. So that is power lines, drawn in, ready to rock. Um, we're gonna need another one over here anyway for our fabric and clothing setup. So how's that gonna work? Well, for fabric and clothing, we clearly need to bring it here to get it on the train, but I'm all right with using a road for that. Um, <clears throat> I, I'm, I'm okay with that. What we're gonna have is a warehouse and I use the default one, but I, I mean, this one's really freaking awesome. I think I want like a, a main, a main warehouse where all of my prominent logistics, I suppose is one way to say it, like citywide distribution of, of resources will need to access a big warehouse. Um, that said though, I think maybe this one's a little overkill and it's probably going to take a lot of resources to build. And I don't need to spend that kind of, that kind of money on it. So, uh, Probably most of this is going to end up being. Uh, you know what? Let's.
if I put this... Hmm. I need to have it on this side so I can deliver it for... For exports. But I'm thinking... I'm wondering if I can somehow rig this up. And I think I can. Rig this up to where... I still have some sort of automation on this. If I bring this back... And just hook this up to here instead. And not have this go all the way out. Right? And then... We can delete... Okay. I can't do that with this road. Come on now. I'd like to see if there's a way to make that really long warehouse. Because of the distance it covers, I might be able to hook up my clothing directly to it, which would make it instantly accessible anyway without having to take it with a truck. I think I can do that as long as I don't have that road going right across there like that. So I'm waiting for this vehicle to clear. There we go. And then let's retrace our steps. Do that instead. Uh, what I'd like to do is have... Yeah, yeah, I think I might try this warehouse. Even, it's, even though it's really big. It's because of that. The length of it is awesome. Like it's super long like that. That's, that's what I'm looking to do. Have something like that. So it's a really big warehouse, has all of our stuff for delivering to people could be in this. And because of that size, it's 107 tons of concrete, though. It's so expensive. Compared to, like, maybe this one, which is only 42 tons of concrete. How much is concrete right now on the, on the global market? We have a... Uh, I haven't even checked prices on things. The concrete is 17 rubles per ton. So that's not that bad. That's 1,700 rubles. That's actually not that bad. You know what? Like, it's really early. If you're going to do it, you should do it when it's really early, right? That's how that works. So I think that's how we're going to play this. I'm going to have this be a big warehouse. It's located right here. And that right there. That should make this everything in here is accessible via this train now, which is awesome. And then I could have my fabrics and all that stuff working over here. Um, we could even use forklifts for this area, maybe. Um, but what I was thinking of is if we have clothes, two clothing factories, right? If I had one that was maybe over in this side, it would access yeah that one right there, that connection. Uh, and we would have it be like an auto export, right? Um, but there's not a lot of room for that, right? There just isn't. So if this won't work, and I'm not sure it will yet, um, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have this paused for a second. I'm not sure that will work. I may just need a smaller one anyway. Is this enough space? You know, I bet it is. I bet this is enough space. We could have, like, services and, like, you know, police and all that stuff, like, in here. Parking. Like, we can do a lot of other stuff in here. Like, maybe even have the technical, a technical university right here. Or, you know, we could have fire stations, orphanages. Even the prison could be over in this side, right? We could create space away from the pollution, is what I'm thinking. And so, if, if we're going to do that, then... There's really no reason why we can't have this road going from this side. Right? I think we can make this work. I'm gonna make this I'm gonna make this area right here where my fabric and clothing is. Because I think it's just gonna it's gonna be better. Um it's gonna, it's gonna be better. Uh, I could also potentially do it over here. There's this warehouse here that's already hooked up. I could potentially do it here. That's not bad. It's close by. We could have... Could make that work, too. There's there's definitely options. Um, I'm going to have to play around with it off, off camera a little bit. How much stuff do you guys want me to do off camera? That's the question I wanted to ask today. I want to have, like, a question to ask, like, every day. Kind of a, kind of a thing I'd like to do. 
but um, I, I'd really like to know like what you're expecting from this. What what do you like from this? All right, this series. If 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 we're gonna obviously we're gonna keep it going, but like what is it that you are most interested in when it comes to watching workers and resources? Do you want to see everything? Like all of it and have like a bajillion videos <laughs> that are all this long. Right, Christ, right, 55 minutes already. Or do you want to, um, you know, I can announce that I'm gonna do things offline and do a few things offline and then, you know, we can come back and uh, I can update you on what, what I did, right? I think that was what I was going for. Originally, that's what I was gonna go for. I just I just don't like how this is. I gotta I gotta redo this. Crap. Can I connect you? Please. I don't even know if that works. I gotta make sure that works. So like I, I guess that's the question, right? Is how much stuff do you th want me to do? You know, offline. Can I say, hey, I'm gonna do this and this and this and then come back? Like I I was doing that with the streams, right? If you if you like the pace we did on the streams, that's what I was doing with the streams. Right, as I was, see now I can adjust it to be straight with this. It's gonna overall be just everything's gonna be better about this. Okay, we're all gonna enjoy this so much more now that I did this. You're gonna look at this and say, "Oh my gosh, Charlie, you fixed it! Like completely fixed everything I hated about that." Yeah, I know. You're welcome. Fixed. Okay, so let me that let me your thoughts on that down in the in the kind of comments there below the like button, which of you of course of totally, of course you clicked it. I mean I just duh. <laughs> um, and then when we come back for the next one, you can see this is done now. This pump is done, and if we had if we had power right now, we would be able to start collecting oil right now. So all of this needs to be set to high priority. So I'm gonna have all the electrics. Electrics? Yes, all the electronics, all the electrics is going to be set to a higher priority now so we can get that all done. And uh, again, when we come back for the next one, we should have power. Hopefully, I'll let this run a little bit. I'm going to keep working on the roads offline. That part's not that exciting, you know, because we have like all these vehicles that move slower. These bigger dump trucks, they'll all use the dirt road while everyone else is using this other road. But... You can see that there's not a whole lot of construction happening right now, and that's because I'm delivering it to this. I don't know. Like, I, I really don't know why they're not building it. But either way, they're actually starting to do the roads pretty quickly. So I need to start queuing up more roads more often. And uh, I think we'll probably have you... Let's have this side be... It really should be this side, isn't it? We'll have this side go for gravel now. Everyone will start springing to life on that. Uh, we really could just do both sides. I could, I mean, we're not using this, so it makes sense to have them both done since we're not using them right now. Uh, since this road is complete, we actually don't need this road anymore. So that road can go. And, uh, we replaced this with just a simple dirt road to here. Is what it should have been anyway. You know, so... Anyway, that's the plans, okay? You guys can see the plans. We're gonna we're gonna get this stuff done. It's just gonna take a long time to do, but if we do it now, we don't have to do it later when it's a little bit more expensive, okay? There's the plan for the derail. There's the plan for construction. I'm gonna see if I can't fit my, you know, fabric and clothing operation into this little space right here. I don't see any reason why not. I had a, I think I used more space uh, last time, so I, I'm pretty sure I can get all this stuff in here the way I want. If I just went fabric, like, yeah. Oh, totally. Like, one fabric and two clothers absolutely could fit here. For sure. So, um, definitely do that. And then have them all connected uh, to this warehouse as well, hopefully. Because there's definitely enough connection points on that. To make that work, right? Wink, wink. Right? Game, you wouldn't let me down. Right, game? Obviously, we need water, sewage, all that stuff to work this too. So, lots of stuff to consider. There it is. Uh, but I need to have it facing this way. I think I can probably get that in there. It's fine. I'll see you guys in the next one, okay? Bye-bye.